Barbecue secrets from America's best pitmasters. Next on Blue Ribbon Hunter. We're coming to you from Memphis in May World Championship Barbecue Cooking Competition, where over 250 teams will be competing for a $110,000 grand prize. This competition is pork only, and competitors must compete with either shoulder, ribs, or whole hog. These contestants will be bringing it, and I hope they teach us a thing or two about barbecue. Tell us about competing in whole hog. We have two 200 pounders, and they'll take 22 hours to cook. We have a brine, then we use a dry rub and a wet rub, then we spray it every two hours. So it's a barbecue marathon of sorts. Do you inject the pig with anything? Apple juice and white peach. And then we got a few secret ingredients like coconut moonshine. What? It's just a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of alcohol to start breaking down the meat. Look at that beautiful skin, totally translucent and mahogany. Color. Ideal. The game of this is how can you possibly perfectly cook all these cuts of meat? But starting with the shoulder, they're doing quite a nice job. Our flavor profile is a combination of sweet and heat. We get our sweet from a glaze that we make that has agave nectar in it. It doesn't change the flavor, but it sweetens and also caramelizes and gets a really good color. And the heat comes from our rub. It has a six pepper blend. And so when you eat it and you get the sweet and the richness, the heat comes right at the end and it just kind of hits you in the face and stops. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is not about the sauce at all. You see that incredibly attractive black black sauce on it, but that's not what I'm tasting. I am tasting sweet pig. I've never experienced barbecue like this. What we do, we stuff the pig's body cavity with the oranges so that as it cooks, the oranges warm up and they become the same internal temperature as the pig. So they stay warm longer and we don't have to get above 200 degrees, but the internal temperature of the meat, we want it to be 200 degrees. Slam an idea. Clever. No chemicals. No chemicals. Nothing unnatural. All natural. Oranges are the secret to barbecue. Who would have thought? Mmm. Mmm. Great fruit, refreshing fruit flavor here. So it wakes up the pork flavor. Here at Sweet Swan of Mine, it's all about balance of flavor. That's sweet and tart and spicy. Tell me how tart plays in. It's something as simple as like a barbecue potato chip. You've got the sweetness right there on, on the tip of your tongue. You've got the kind of pepper kick in the back of your throat. And then you've got that thing that does right here. Yeah, I'm kind of salivating just thinking about that tang. Any big tips for shoulder? Don't complicate. Don't move it a lot. Don't spin it. Don't turn it. Don't flip it. Don't do any of that yeah. stuff. The sauce is beautiful with this meat. He promised me tang and I got tang. What do you think put your ribs ahead of the others today? It's a fruit glaze that we put on the ribs. And what kind of fruits are you using? Oh, we're using apricot preserves, applesauce, cinnamon, apple jelly, orange marmalade, and fig preserves. And there's one little extra little kick in there. There's nothing like a little grand upscale rib. We got a little Grand Marnier, Grandma's Fixed Preserves. I love it. When the ribs are right, yeah. bite the rib directly and only the part that comes off in my teeth yeah. should come off. Here we go. That's it. There's my tooth mark right yeah, there. Yeah, that makes you slap your grandma. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. Now, what do you look for in great barbecue? Well, you look, of course, flavor is one of the most important okay. things, but you want moisture, you want you want it to be nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. You want to see some rings around the smoke, like the shoulder and the hogs and things like that. So what makes you a barbecue expert? Well, my father started a barbecue restaurant in Memphis called The Rendezvous in 1948, and about 1968 or 70, I started working there full time. Well, I'll tell you, I live in New York, and we, we don't have Memphis barbecue in New York. I can take care of that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, so? you're right. We started shipping our ribs all over the United United States by FedEx. We've shipped ribs as far away as Bangkok, Thailand, Australia, the Dominican Republic, Singapore. Wow! It's pretty incredible. We've been all over the world. We know that our food is going to be delivered in a very timely fashion, that when they say they're going to get it there by 10.30 in the morning, we can depend on FedEx. Okay, so when I'm craving Memphis barbecue, you're going to send me some? Of course. And the winner of the Memphis in May World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest is... Swine oh my! champion Memphis in May. How does it feel? Fantastic. Well, it just validates the 17 years we've been cooking as a team. It validates all the blood, sweat, and tears that's gone into this. For people one day who want to be standing right here holding that trophy, what advice do you have for them? Practice. Practice. Just get out and cook in your backyard. It does not have to be a big fancy grill. This team got a lot of last place before we ever won a trophy. That's it from the Memphis in May World Championship Barbecue Cooking Competition. What's your favorite kind of pork barbecue? Let us know. See you next time on Blue Ribbon Hunter.
Thank you. Thank you very much.